guys, Scott here from the Mental Metal Channel and MentalMetalDetecting.com. So yeah, I got the 8-inch coil for the Manticore. We're going to test it out here in the test garden. Um, I did some air tests with it, and I was pretty impressed with the air tests, I'll be honest. It was uh, uh, pretty impressive just doing air tests and how much depth you were getting. I'll throw a um, screenshot of that up here on the video for you so you can just kind of get an idea. Now, my test garden has some contamination in it. it is, uh, it's a tough test garden to actually hit some of these targets. So we're going to try our best here. I'm hopeful it'll hit a 10-inch dime, but it's going to be tough. These little small coils, it's tough to hit a 10, 10 and a half inch dime, silver dime, uh, under in my in my yard here. I don't know what's going on with some of my, my ground, but it's just weird. So we'll do what we can here with it and see what we can hit. And, uh, yeah, we'll just... Get a good idea what this thing's gonna do. I love these little little uh, coils for these machines because I do a lot of coin shooting and stuff. I do a lot of river detecting, things like that. And I like those little coils because they get you in those little tight spots. So we're gonna try this out. I'll give it a good go here and uh, let you guys be the judge, all right? So let's get started. All right, to be fair in this test, I'm gonna take off my gloves because I won't be able to maneuver my fingers. Um, I have knocked down the recovery speed because, in only fairness, it's uh, it's gonna be tough to hit this. You want to get as much depth as you can here. Uh, let's see, recovery speed of three. I'll do five for the default. It's by default it's five. Uh, I'll go through. I have not changed anything else other than turned on the red numbers, the ferrous indicators. Uh, we'll do all terrain general first to start out with. And then we'll kind of kind of mess around with some of these um, uh, search modes and see what we can get with each one of them. All right, I think I'm in audio theme. I've not changed any of the audio or the Ferris limits. So the audio theme right here is normal. We'll change that to enhance a little bit. See if it makes a difference. Um, but I, I'll go with normal for, normal for right now. I have done a factory reset. Uh, when I put the coil on, you don't really need to, but I just, I don't know, I feel feel like you need to. Sometimes I have had mixed experiences with just putting on a new coil and running with it. So I've had two instances where the coil was not working pro properly at all. And then when I when I factory reset uh, everything, it seemed to straighten out. So they don't tell you you need to do a factory reset. I know somebody in one of my videos gave me a bunch of crap for telling everybody that you do. I'm not telling you you do, I'm just telling you for me, I had two experiences where I needed to do a factory reset. So you take it with what it is, uh, you do what you want to do, I'm just here giving you the information that I have. So, all right, so in this hole, I, uh, I actually wanted to go see how deep this hole was. It, the, the dime is now sitting at 10 and a half inches. Um, I try to get whatever is contaminated out of it, but I don't think I got it. So. It might, you might, may not hit it. I don't know. May or may not, I guess. So I got my sensitivity up to 25. I think that's standard. We could go higher if we wanted to. Whoops. We could try it at 28. But then it gets a little noisy. So I'm going to leave it at 20. We'll just stay at 26. Seems to be pretty quiet. I have ground balanced it. Um, and I have noise canceled. So um, we are, we should be fine. So let's give it a shot here. So this is going to be a 10 inch, 10 and a half inch dime, and uh, we'll just see. I'm not hearing much. Like I said, this is going to be tough to hear to hit. Now, what if we ro lower? Well, let's not lower the recovery speed just yet, because it is. It is getting it one way. Oh, there it is. Oh, it's coming in. But boy, that is right on the edge of discovery. But it is picking up that 10 and a half inch dime. That's pretty, pretty impressive, but, but that's tough. I don't know if you'd walk over that and hear that right away, but you might, I don't know. All right, next one over is a eight inch Eight or nine inch war, war nickel. Hits that one no problem. I actually uh, had some contamination in this hole and I went in there and dug it out and uh, turns out there was a silver silver quarter in there too. So I had two silver, two silver 
coins in the hole, which was causing it to be confused a lot of times. So I thought I'd nail it, but that cleared it up. And now we're getting that war nickel, no problem at all. And just to prove it, here's a V nickel. Picks that one up, no problem at all. Now here's one it has a little trouble with. This is the eight inch, eight or nine inch. I don't know, Rocky is getting into something underneath my, underneath my house there. Um, this is an eight or nine inch, uh, eight, and a, eight and a half or nine inch quarter on edge. This is a tough one to get to. So this, this one, anything on an edge is questionable. Now look at the numbers. That does not indicate a silver coin at any more at any any point here, but it is picking something up and it's jumping around high numbers, medium numbers. Definitely worth digging. So I don't see any ferrous indication there. So I would dig that just to see what it is. So we got that. Here is a suspender clip. About, down about six inches so that's going to be obviously it's going to come in pretty well here is a silver thimble i believe that's down about eight seven eight inches so it picks that up here is a pull tab obviously it's going to pick that up here is a large scent that's also down about nine inches. Bigger target. Picks it up, no problem at all. These are some shell fragments here that we know we're not gonna hear. Well, we'll hear if they're on the all metal mode. So that's fine. Here is a flat button. So it picks that up just fine. Let's go to the next row. We've already did the V nickel. This should be a barber quarter. Yep, no problem there. Crushes that one. This is an Indian head penny. Uh, down about eight, seven, eight inches. Picks that up, no problem at all. This is going to be a rusty bottle cap. And this one's going to have a dime in the middle of some nails. So it does pick out a non-ferrous in there, but it is bringing down the numbers. Now, if you turn on the all metal, you'll be able to hear, you'll hear those, those nails in there. There's, there's a lot, a couple nails in there, but it does pick out that dime. If you're going by a 2D map, you would be mistaken if you didn't think there was a coin in there. You get a repeating signal like that inside some heavy iron. Gotta investigate that. This is a 12 inch half dollar. So it picks that up pretty good. So there you go. In general mode, this thing does pretty good. It's it uh it struggles here with the 10 inch dime, but it will get it. If you hit it just right, it'll get it. All right, and that's with sensitivity 26. So let's go into um let's go into our search modes and try it in all-terrain fast uh, i don't think we're going to get the dime i think you lose you lose uh, a lot of depth when you go when you do fast so just i suspected i didn't expect to get that the nickel still getting the nickel it also uses a different uh, audio theme too i think it's using depth for this one if i'm not mistaken let's go up and check it out yeah, it uses audio theme and depth for fast. So that's fine. We'll just go with it. Um, here's that here's that quarter on edge. Seems to do a little better picking that up. Numbers look pretty good too. Suspender clip 
should crush all these. Silver thimble. Yeah, it's fine on that. Obviously, pull tab. Uh, large scent. Yeah, it's fine on that too. The other challenging one, I'll just go over that one real quick because it'll be the 12 inch half. Pretty tough. That's on the edge of detection. It's it's getting the 90s in the target ID, but it's, man, that's a tough signal to dig right there. I don't know if you dig that or not. So, war nickel. Yeah, you get the war nickel all day. Uh, let's see here, Na or diamond nails. Yep, you're still getting a dime amongst those nails. That's pretty cool. Indian head penny. Yep. And then you got a uh, barber quarter right here. Silver still gets that. So fast is picking up most of them, but it is not a uh, rocky. No. Get out of there. I don't know what he's doing. That dog, if it's not a ball, he's getting into something else. All right, so let's change up now to, let's go to, we're in fast, let's go to low conductors. Let's see what it does in low conductors. Now, this is not ideal for coins. I just want to point that out. So let's see what it does. We're still remaining in uh, 26 sensitivity. So... I'd be surprised if it picks up that that dime. And it sounds like it's an enhanced audio theme now. So the dime, it's not going to do too much to that. Nickel. I like that sound. Quarter on edge. Get this leaf out of the way. I do like that theme. Your that theme supposed to be for like EMI. What is he? Listen. Leave there alone. No. You leave her alone. Quit being a butthead. Here's a suspender clip. No problem at all. Silver thimble. Looks good on the VDI. That's a pull tab. Large scent. Yep. And flat button. Gets all those. Let's just go to the hard ones. Uh, 12 inch half dollar. Gets that. It does come in. So it has some red numbers there, but. That's tough for a little coil, 8 inch coil, but it's, it hears it. Turn off the all metal mode here. Yeah, I would dig that. I would investigate that. Just still get the nail, nails in the dime. Yep, still picks that dime out of the nails. That's pretty cool. Bottle cap. So that is low conductors. Let's try. High conductors. Now, I have high hopes for high conductors, obviously, but you never know here. Well, here's the dime, the one we're struggling with. There. Again, I'm at recovery speed of three. Or no, am I? I'm not. I'm at five. Let's lower it to three and see if it makes a difference. Boy, it really wants to get it. It's trying. Man, it just might be on the edge. Here is that quarter. Oh yeah, it's getting that quarter nice now. There's something about that enhanced audio theme I really like. Or nickel. It's 
sounds kind of funky, like something's messing with it. It is getting it. Must be something else in that hole. Well, it does hear it. it does see the numbers. Let's do the 12-inch half. It's another tough one. I don't know. Let's bump our recovery back up because I don't know if that's even working very well doing that. Let's put the four and see what happens. Seems to come in better at four. Interesting. What about this nickel? Yeah. Look at that. Just a slight change makes a big difference. Oh, look at that. Dime's coming in. Just lowering the recovery speed of four from five made a big difference. Yep, that quarter still comes in good. So that's what I would have, that's interesting. Uh, recovery speed of four seems to clear these signals up a lot. There's that Indian head penny. V nickel, oh, I'm sorry, this is a quarter. It's a barber quarter. This is a V nickel. Here's the Indian head penny. 63. And then here is the uh, uh, large cent. So, yeah, there you go. Recover speed of four in this test garden seems to be the magic number. Uh, let's see what else can we try. We're in, we're in uh, high conductors now. Let's go into trash reject. I don't typically use this much, but we'll try it anyway. Recovery speed should still be at four. Oh no, it's five. Let's lower it to four since we had good luck with it in the last program. Uh, let's try it. Trash reject. Hmm. I think you're gonna lose a lot of depth. Still gets a war nickel. Kind of hits the 12 inch half, but not very good. I don't know if I would use this program. Still gets the Indian head. Gets the barber quarter. Barely. V nickel. These are shallow. So it should get that. Uh, let's go to. Let's go down to. Beach General. Let's see what it does on Beach. This ought to be interesting. Let's see what the recovery speed is here. Still at four. Beach. 10 inch dime. Again, this is beach. I don't expect it to hit much in my dirt, but picks up the war nickel just fine. Wow, listen to that. Picks up that 12 inch half pretty good. Eight inch quarter on edge. Crushes that. Crazy. Uh, let's go down to beach low conductors um, not much there 12 inch half yep still gets a 12 inch half interesting beach deep maybe it'll pick up the 10 inch dime Sounds like it is. What's it hitting on the VDI? Struggles, but it's showing 98. About 12 inch half. That's 
say it picks that up pretty good. Well, there you go. Um, I'm not going to do surface seawater. I'm not going to even do gold field. Um, all terrain general, recovery speed of four seems to be. Seems to be where it was hitting pretty good. It's picking up that 10 inch dime. No problem at all. I would definitely dig that. 12 inch half. Yep. So in my opinion, your general program for this for this little coil might be your way to go. Um, it's hit a lot of targets and all the other, other programs too, but to hit a 10 inch dime, 10 and a half inch dime with this little coil is pretty impressive, uh, let alone the 12 inch half dollar as well. So um, I'm pretty hopeful that this, this coil is going to be pretty awesome. I love these little coils. So this is the perfect size for this machine, for the areas that I want to use it in. And so if you're looking for this coil, you're looking for this machine, the Manticore, um, you know where to get them. All right, guys, that's going to be it today for the look at the noisy manticore and the 8-inch coil uh, in my test garden here. Um, I think it did pretty good. I think uh, it struggled with a couple targets, but they're super deep. And I'm not surprised most of my little coils that I use on other machines have a hard time hitting those targets. Uh, but the uh, it, it's proving to be a nice little coil as far as I'm concerned. I will be using it for sure. Uh, if you guys are looking for one of these coils, I recommend getting them from my friends over at Fort Bedford Metal Detectors. Uh, they're definitely, they're definitely, um, they definitely have the Manticore in stock. Uh, this M8 coil is becoming hard to get, so um, you got to check over there, check their website, give them a call, find out if they can get them for you, or get them on a, a wait list or something. Um, but they are going fast. When they do come out, people are snatching them up, so you just got to keep checking back. All right, that's it for me today. I hope everybody had a great Thanksgiving, and I'll see ya. And another mental metal video. Where'd Rocky go? Is he back there somewhere? Rocky. There he comes. Say goodbye. <laughs> Thanks for watching.